Hey YouTube, welcome back and in today in this video, I'm going to show you how to zoom in and out of your face cam and we're doing this on mobile. And as you know, I'm doing this on Kind Master since it was my preferred app, but you can also do this on Power Director. And make sure to subscribe if you like videos like these, I post them every single week. And just quickly, today's notification shout out goes to King Kate. Thank you so much for being first in the last video and shout out to you. And the fan shout out goes to Popsy. Thank you so much for watching my videos all the time and shout out to you. I'm not gonna put on my face cam so you can see in more detail. Of course, first we open Kind Master. Then we're gonna create a new project and click 16 to 9. Now we click media because for example, we want the gaming clip. And now we look for the gaming clip. Now we select the gaming clip. There you go. Now you click check mark. I'm gonna mute the gaming clip so it doesn't mess up my audio when I'm talking. So we click mixer and mute the audio. Now we have to rotate it because this is turned the improper way. Now we're gonna get the face cam clip. Click layer, then media, then click all, and we choose this face cam clip for example. We're gonna take the part that we don't need, then move it to the front of the gaming clip. You basically hold your finger on the clip and drag it to the front. And as you can see, the face cam's on the green screen. So obviously we're gonna remove the green screen. Click chroma key, and then you click enable. And now you can adjust it because it's not even uh, perfect in the beginning. So basically check which way is proper way. This is good enough. So now we have this face cam that's covering the full screen right now, but we wanna make it smaller for example. We're gonna zoom it out. This is actually really quick and simple. So you see on the left, there's this round circle with a key inside it. You click that, then you click this where it says animation and the circle with the plus sign on it, you click that. Now move your timeline, how fast or how slow you want the effect to happen. So for example, we're gonna make the effect for two seconds. So that's gonna be relatively quick. And now we simply make the face scan smaller. And let's say we move it to the side. And now on the timeline, you see this circle with a red dot inside it, that's a keyframe. And it's added automatically. Now when I click play, you see it zooms out very slowly. And of course, if you wanna zoom this in again, for example, we're gonna add another keyframe here. So for this part, it's gonna stay there. And now let's say we move out to, through the timeline for one second, so it's gonna be really fast. And then make the face cam bigger, so it's gonna zoom in. So when you're doing keyframing and you move the timeline first, and you want to adjust something, that automatically adds another keyframe. You see, when I play from this moment, it's gonna zoom in really fast. You see it like that. You can also move it side to side using the same method, or even turn it. You see, now it's gonna turn. There you go. And if you guys want to see funny effects like fisheye or like some voiceover effects, then make sure to click this video. I have even more advanced video coming up soon about it. So if you want to see it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.